And here we are with uh, number 19 for the D3Hoops.com Classic interviewee, uh, Reed Buck uh, for Merchant Marine. And we, we brought you over because you certainly helped this team kind of resurrect itself and really get back into this game against Wesley, the one you finish off the Classic with. It certainly looked ugly in the first half. Wesley was hitting everything. You guys were down 19 at one point, down 14. Pretty good comeback to get back into this one and then win it by nine. Thank you. I mean, yeah, the team, I owe it all to these guys. I mean, they never gave up. We kept crashing the boards and uh, had really good ball movement in the second half. And we didn't have that in the first half, and I think that's what put us down by that much. And uh, Wesley played a great game. They hit a bunch of shots. I mean, they played really well. I'm just happy to come out with a win. 35 points in this game. Uh, countless efforts on defense. A number of rebounds to help uh, second chance opportunities shut down. Wesley on the defensive end. What was the secret? What did you guys say at halftime that kind of led you guys to, to making this big comeback here in the second half? Well, we knew um, Wesley, they were shooting the ball great. Um, really, we wanted to keep playing the same same defense uh, because statistically they haven't been shooting that well this season. And uh, we just we told our guys it's just a game of runs. I mean, basketball is a game of runs. The team that makes the most runs wins. So right. uh, we just put some, some runs together and Ended up winning. Some runs, are certainly yeah. uh, significant runs to, to swing the game the way you wanted it to. What else was the key? Was getting that foul, the uh, fourth foul on Reynolds, Was did you guys change your defensive scheme? Obviously, you stayed in your 2-3, but what did you guys change X's and O's wise? Uh, yeah, it was it was very helpful that Reynolds had those fouls. He's a good player. Um, the other big guy, Langan, I think. Mm -hmm. uh, those guys are really good, and it was, it was good that we didn't have them in the game. <laughs> Because <laughs> they could hurt us, but um, sure. Yeah, X and O's wise, we just continued to play two three. We matched up a little better in the second half, and I uh, got on got out on the shooters, and um, I think that's what that was the key to the game. Let's talk about the Merchant Marine a little bit. Give some people some insight. We talked about it during the ball game, but from your point of view, obviously, it'd be interesting. You know, a service academy. You need to uh, get a, a an appointment from a congressional uh, help in a sense uh, to get into the to the academy. There's a lot of stringent. Um, academic needs on top of what you're doing in athletics. Give everybody a little bit of a synopsis of A, what it is like to be a Merchant Marine student, and, and B, what what the academy is preparing you for. Yeah, well, um, it's really different than uh, most colleges. Um, I'm sure the other service academies can uh, relate to it, but um, you have to go to class every day, and uh, you have to wear the uniform. You have to um, be up at 6 every morning, and there, there are certain rules we have to follow that a normal college student would probably think is kind of ridiculous. But, <laughs> but yeah, and then we graduate. We uh, have to spend five years in the maritime industry, or we could go active duty for for six years, I think. And, um, yeah, it's just preparing us to be leaders. I think it's a great school. The alumni are really great. They're really helpful, and uh, they're pretty successful. From someone on from your standpoint, what drew you to the Merchant Marine? Well, Merchant Marine, they're all about the maritime industry, and I've always been interested in ships and um, cruise ships especially. But, <laughs> But, nothing um, wrong with those. Yeah, nothing <laughs> wrong with those. So I'd, maybe I'd like to work on those someday. But, um, I mean, I think it's it's a good chance to see every country give back for uh, all those veterans that that actually risk their lives out there. So I'm just I'm happy to be a part of it. Let's talk about your team, the Landmark Conference, a little bit, where you guys stack up. Obviously, the Landmark Conference kind of topsy-turvy every year. Uh, you've got teams like Scranton, Susquehanna, and, and others. Catholic, for example, always in competition. Merchant Marine, not that far removed from a conference, uh, you know, battle on top. Can, can you guys compete this year? Who's Who do you think's on top? Where, where do you guys stand? I think we're going to be good. Right now, Catholics playing a great season. They're, they might still be undefeated right now. But, um, yeah, I think we're going to be good. We got a young team. We got a good core group of guys that uh, I think this year can make a, a big run, especially if we're playing well like we did in the second half here. And uh, if not this year, then definitely next year. I think we're going to be good for, for a little while. Um, obviously, we're in Vegas for the D3Hoops.com Classic. It is wrapped up officially, but obviously you spent some time here in Vegas. That was one of the keys uh, uh, for this experience. Tell us from your point of view, obviously with the academy restrictions, you guys don't get a probably a ton of chances to go sightseeing. But for here in Vegas, what did you guys do or are going to do? Uh, what have the plans been? Well, we've, we've tried to keep it to a minimum right now in terms of, <laughs> in terms of fun. Um, Probably go out to the strip tonight. We haven't gone out to the strip as a team yet. We'll probably do that tonight, and because uh, all the games are done. Right. Um, but yeah, it's a great city. I've never been here before. It's it's really fun. So, glad has, to be here. But yeah, it's some fun at least. Oh yes, definitely. Good. And the final question: 
Coach Danny Nee, second season, obviously a late hire last year to you guys. What's it been like to be to be with a coach that, you know, synonymous with college basketball? A lot of people know him from his playing and coaching days. Now he's at your school and coaching you. Well, how is how's that experience been? I think it's great. I'm I'm really lucky to be to be uh, coached by him. I mean, when I first heard he got the job last year. I was like, wow, that guy can really coach me. <laughs> yeah, he's, I was like, wow, he's he's pretty good. So yeah, it's great to have him here. He knows what he's doing. Uh, it's great having him. He's, he knows a lot, so we can learn a lot from him. Very good. Reed Buck, uh, member of the Merchant Marine, helping the team win against Wesley here in a big comeback in the second game. Their second game of the D3Hoops.com Classic. Thank you once again. Congratulations. Good luck the rest of the season. we Thank got you. one more interview to do for the D3Hoops.com Classic to put it on the site.